This is Eternal Blade, and welcome to part 62 of the Orc Gun Wagon tutorial. And uh, I found an issue with our gun. It's too long, so just bring it back a bit till it's generally in the same place as this. And uh, that'll fix that problem. And then select all the pieces you had before. Oops. And isolate selection. Er, hide select, unselect. Okay, and then let's um select this polygon right here. Inset uh, zero. Okay, scale it inward a bit. To about this, there's pretty good. And then extrude to about actually cancel. Uh, scale it that way a bit. Bring it up. Okay, edge, just like that. Bring that edge up a bit. Now I'm extruded out. About that far. Okay. And, uh, I forget. Select this edge and this edge. Connect. This edge and this edge. Oops. Connect. Then, uh, select both those edges and bring them down so we create a little uh, aiming device and give these edges a small chamfer okay and back over here select this edge like that that connect bring the connection back polygon extrude and extrude it straight down I guess and give it a little bevel at the end there okay grow 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 and let's see what mesh smooth does to it right there we go we have a nice little handle thing Select. We can do that in a second. Here. Um, create a box right about here to here. Okay. Move it over. Convert to editable poly polygon. Select these edges here and extrude. Just extrude it. Downward, select the entire edge of poly and scale it inward a bit. Bring it up, polygon, bring this back, select those edges, connect, bring that forward a bit. Okay, uh, select all those edges and chamfer. Okay, now create a box around that, bring it down a bit, or increase the height and bring it down a bit, okay, convert to editable poly, oops, we do convert to editable poly, edges, and then select those edges, chamfer, give them a small chamfer, okay, Select this, edges, and select all those edges and chamfer them. And do it twice, looks pretty good. Select this polygon here and uh, connect. Okay, polygon, select that and extrude. It a bit, 
edge, uh, select that edge, that edge, that edge, and that edge, and connect. Slide it down a bit. Okay, polygon, select that, that, and that. Extrude on their local normals. And just extrude them a bit. Okay, cylinder, just create a uh, cylinder right here. Bring it up. Convert to editable poly, polygons like that, edges, chamfer. Give it a small chamfer there, polygon, and then just extrude that one in a bit. Okay, edges, just like that, loop, chamfer. And then give that a slight chamfer, like so. Uh, select this, vertex, or polygon actually. Select these polygons, get the vertices, and just drag that forward a bit. And then select this polygon, drag it back a bit. Cylinder, um, create a cylinder right here in the middle. Drag it out and push it in. Okay, give that uh, eight sides. Move it. Center it up, copy it once, and copy it twice. Okay. Next, build a cylinder right in here. Okay, decrease the height a bit. Give it 18 sides. Convert to editable poly polygons like that. Uh, select the edges, chamfer, okay, polygon, inset, do a little inset, extrude inwards a bit, okay, then select one of those polygons there, and, oops, cancel, sorry, select this polygon and this poly, oops, and that polygon, and extrude them. that. Okay, and then bring this one down even farther. It's like the entire little poly and just slide it down a bit and then in a bit. Edges, select all those and all those. Chamfer. Okay. And then Let's select this edge, go straight down, straight down, and actually heck, just select all of that, all that, all that, and all that, and give everything a little chamfer. You only have to give it one. Ooh. Cancel. Okay. Uh, just do it by hand then, I guess. Okay. Select all the edges. Continue selecting. And that should be uh, almost good for now. Actually, that'll be good for now. Uh, chamfer it. Okay. Now that'll be it for part 62. I'll see you in part 63.